In this video, I'm going to review using the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator CS6. It's pretty much the same as the pencil tool in CS5, CS4, CS3, and so forth. Um, but I just wanted to review it because it's a good tool to use. It's a quick tool to master, um, and it can give you pretty good results. It's not the best tool. I'd, I'd encourage everybody to learn the pen tool if you really want to be precise and very accurate. But this tool works quite well as well. This is the pencil tool. Um, I'm just going to go to my pencil layer I just made. Um, you can watch my video on and creating layers if you wish to make a separate pencil layer you probably won't need to do that but I'm just gonna draw the apple itself so in order to do that um, I'll just I'll kind of go to the side and show you what the pencil tool does if you click and drag with your pencil tool it will allow you to create a line and if you click and drag along that line it will actually redraw the line for you and so what I'm gonna kind of do is I'm gonna kind of draw around that whole apple and it's going to um, draw that ha apple hopefully and then I'm going to tweak it I'm going to um, adjust it um, I'm going to show you how to adjust it in future videos um, so first of all I'm going to um, create my apple by clicking and dragging around the apple so click and drag hold the mouse down as far as you can and if you need to let go you can um, if you start to see this thing happen where you actually have a fill, you can change your fill right down here at the bottom of the tools panel. The fill I have now is white, as you see. Just click on your white fill or whatever color your fill is. The fill is the part that's kind of covering over my apple that I'm drawing. Um, and click on this red slash. The red slash stands for none. So click on your fill, which is the big square, and click on none. So you probably want a stroke, but no fill. So your stroke should be black or another color. You can double click it to change the color if you wish to do that to whatever color you want. And just click and drag to go alongside the apple. Now if you stop or mess up like I just showed you, um, you can kind of click and drag over where you stopped and keep going. And you could do this in pieces, I guess, if you wanted to. Just kind of click and drag and let go. Um, this tool depends on the steadiness of your hand. So as you see here, I'm not doing a perfect job. I'm just kind of getting it close. I really usually when I do this tool, I'll try to do the whole shape all the way around if possible. So I'll try to go all the way around the apple or whatever I'm drawing as a whole. I don't have to draw the stem because that's on another layer. Um, so I'll do the stem separately. I'll do the highlight separately. I'm just focused on drawing the apple itself. As you see here, if I click on my bottom layer, if you just look at the what you drew, it's a little bit rough around the edges. And you can still go back and, cr and correct that by if it's selected by just clicking and dragging on the object. If the object doesn't do that, if you don't have it selected, it's not going to do that. Um, so you're going to draw new shapes. Hit delete twice to get rid of that shape. You really want to, first of all, make sure it's selected. Go to the selection tool, make sure it's selected, then go back to the pencil tool, and you can just click and drag over it, and it will redraw it for you. So it got it pretty close. It's still bumpy. It's a lot, a lot of these little dots, a lot of these anchor points. These are called anchor points. And so I'm going to show you how to manipulate the anchor points really in high detail in future videos but right now I want to show you how to get this right just just using the pencil tool and so if you click and hold the pencil tool right on your tools panel and go down to the smooth tool smooth tools right there um, you can click and drag over this kind of like when you're retracing it with the pencil tool just do it in little portions just click and drag click and drag click and drag as you see here it what it's doing is just simplifying my design it's getting rid of anchor points and so that's a good way to smooth out your design see these bumps right here just click and drag over them with the smooth tool and see how they go away the more I click and drag over them click and drag click and drag the more you go over them the smoother it's gonna get it's gonna end eventually end up being a circle so you don't want to overdo it if you do overdo it you can do undo edit undo smooth to undo whatever you did but for the most part it gets it pretty close and then I can even go back to my pencil tool by clicking the letter N on my keyboard or going back to the tools panel and selecting it and then I can trace it a little bit more detailed like that and then I can go back to my smooth tool again and just smooth out that and it gets it pretty close 
Um, and really, ideally, I want to look at my illustration without the photograph. The photograph is just a template. I just want to look at it, make sure it's right. If it, see, it's still a little bumpy down here, I might go over with the smooth tool a little bit more. There's no shortcut key to the smooth tool by default unless you change that, so sorry. Uh, just click on the pencil tool and go down to it and smooth it out as best you feel it should be. And there's your apple or there's your shape that you want to draw. And you can turn the background back on and click it off. Ideally, we want it to work with the background off. We can fill it in even at this point if we wanted to do so with the color. And um, that's your illustration. So in next video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate those anchor points in a little bit more accurate detail.